uh, sorry for that uh, uh, yesterday we were discussing about partial differential equation uh, we have covered one category or one class of pds uh, that was elliptical partial differential equation in elliptical partial differential equation there are typically two examples uh, out of which we have covered one laplace equation this laplace equation you observe in two dimensional heat conduction or heat transfer problems okay so space domain problem of two dimension uh, it follows second order linear partial differential equation and if you try to characterize it uh, it goes under elliptical uh, elliptical par uh, partial differential equation okay now uh, today uh, the, we will do one more numerical of, of the same category or same class. Try to attempt this numerical. Uh, some basic I'll cover how to start this numerical because see in yesterday uh, the grid size was little less. For a small grid size tha. for this numerical number of uh, nodes are more. Okay. So uh, if you come across this kind of numerical where number of nodes are large, the unknown parameters are around nine. Yesterday, uh, those were around four only, four or six only. So if you are handling uh, a large size of a node, how to solve this numerical? Okay, because uh, thoda trick lagana padta hai, yahan pe thoda alag uh, procedure hai. A little deviation from the previous procedure. Okay, so first thing you start with first step initial values. Okay, you will try to start, uh, try to get the initial values of u1, u2, u3 up to u9. Now, how to solve, how to get the initial values? Again, you can either go for standard five point formula or you can go for either diagonal five point formula dono mein se jo bhi applicable hoga jo bhi possible hoga use it to get to initial values of u1 u2 up to u9 okay but maine kal hi bataya tha standard five point formula is more accurate than the diagonal formula so start with the standard one hmm? now as we are dealing with large number Okay, so we always start with the middle point because this will help you to solve or evaluate remaining parameter. Now, how to do that? This u for you. Try to apply a standard formula, standard five point formula. So this u for you uh, will be equal to average of values of neighboring data or neighboring nodes. Okay, so uske neighbor wale node kon se deko u4, u2, u6, u8. But all are unknown. Okay, so that means standard five point formula we cannot implement right now. Then if you try to uh, implement a diagonal one, okay, so agar aap diagonal bhi use karne ki koshish karoge, this u1, u3, u9, u7. These are again all unknowns. Okay. Now, the dono attempt fail ho gaye hamare. Okay. So, how to proceed next? Again, go back to the standard formula. Standard five point formula for u for u. For u for u. Okay. It is average of values which are neighboring to it. Now here, instead of taking H wala neighbor, bohut pass wala neighbor, uske jaga kya karo? Thoda dur wala, equal distance pe, dur wala jo hai, uska average le lo. Now we are maintaining the same distance. See, yahan pe bhi H hai, yahan pe bhi distance H, yahan pe bhi distance H. Yahan pe bhi distance h. 
so all these neighbors are at same location or same distance they are away from u for u with equal distance so you can implement that kind of formula also and here you can also implement the diagonal one but we know that diagonal one bhi yahan pe nikal sakta hai u phi u you will get but u phi u by standard formula will be more accurate than the diagonal one right so we will choose the obvious choice standard formula theek hai to your u phi u using standard formula will be equal to 1 by 4 0 plus 17 plus 21 plus 12.1 okay so for this u phi u you have implemented standard formula but with 2h distance okay this is approximate method you can do that don't worry you can implement this one so you will get u5 value and then after getting u5 u5 value you proceed okay so by using standard formula you will get u5 value uh, which is around 12 point for you okay now next part i think uh, you can do it okay so for next like u1 okay u1 ke liye dekho try to implement standard formula if you try it you are going to fail because for u1 i need the values of u2 and u4 but we don't have so u1 standard formula se to nahi possible okay now implement the diagonal one for u1 use the diagonal formula okay so u1 will be equal to 1 by 4 0 plus 17 plus now u5 you already calculate kiya hai to hame easy jayega so that's why first we have calculated u5 so 12.5 and plus 0 so you will get u1 value no need to assume some uh, value of u equal to 0 zarurat nahi hai right again for u2 u2 ke liye i need u1 u3 hmm? and to so standard formula u2 ke liye available nahi hai so use diagonal formula again if you try to use diagonal formula u4 u6 are not available hmm? so after calculating u1 skip the u2 okay so wait usko baaju mein rakh do u2 ko hmm? go for the next one u3 u3 ke liye again standard formula not will not work use the diagonal formula okay so diagonal formula agar aap u2 ke liye use karoge sorry u3 ke liye aapke paas hai sab data right so aapko u3 mil jayega now you will understand that after calculating u for you we should be calculating u1 u3 u9 and u7 because using diagonal formula you can easily calculate them this circle one and then after that after calculating u 1 3 9 7 and then start again with u2 u4 u6 and u8 but for calculating this u2 u4 u6 and u8 you can use standard one standard formula use kar sakte ho because ab dekho u2 ke liye u1 bhi hai available u3 bhi available hai it is calculated in the previous step okay so first using diagonal formula calculate u1 u3 u7 u9 and then by implementing standard formula calculate the remaining parameter okay so this 
इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट एक स्टेज कंप्लीट हो गई यू गॉट इनिशियल वैल्यूज ऑफ यूज ठीक है उसके बाद क्या करना पड़ता है आपको इटरेशन नाउ फॉर इटरेशन नो नीड टू यूज डायगोनल फॉर्मूला फॉर इटरेशन ऑलवेज यूज स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट you will write it down all the values of u you obtained in the previous calculation and you are going to perform iterations so iteration number 1 will start and then again you will start with u1 u2 ab dekho ab sequence mein jana hai iteration jab chalu karoge go in a sequence so start with u1 u2 u3 then u4 u5 u6 u7 u8 u9 and use the updated values okay so are there any doubts i am going to show you uh, the problem statement and you have to get to the answer after two iteration okay so in chat window please enter your an answer after two iteration ठीक है so start working on this and if someone is facing some uh, issue query uh, let me know